SQL reporting service. This is part 63 and today we are going to add and configure trend line in our project. So this is what we have built last time. So let's make some more space and let's see how it looks like. So at least now we have a better space here. Okay, so if you want to add a trend line, you need to select a blue bar anywhere but you need to select a blue bar then very important step you need to right click and then you say add calculated series as the name suggests it is going to add something calculative you know over this graph and it, ha it is going to have some formula so it shows a pop-up and like I said this is the average uh, trending demo right so this is the moving average but I also told you guys that it has a number of formulas like median mean then detrended price oscillator and you know standard deviation etc etc so you can choose whatever you need but at start we are going to use this then we're going to go to markers we're going to choose a marker as a circle marker size is good and we're going to give them a color as yellow okay uh, yellow is too high let's give it this gold one and border width is going to be four point then we're going to fill this thing with a red color okay and we're gonna keep the border pretty high as 4 and then you're gonna say OK so this is its plotting and then save it and then preview it <clears throat> voila you just plotted the trend line the average trend line now let's do more one more thing to verify uh, we have the correct things I'm gonna share I'm, I'm sorry I'm gonna say uh, show data labels and this is what it's showing up over here and let's preview it so I remember uh, you know in the introduction I said like you know in between Jan and Feb if you do the sum and you average it out then you will find 2 million right so on every yellow point you will find a value right so I hope that makes sense and I have not uh, you know covered that thing with a dollar so you understand on every yellow point it's pointing out an average and this is the average trend line right now next uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert the same thing into some another trend line so I'm gonna apply some different formula so make sure your red line is selected and then you do right click and properties the calculator series properties and then you say I don't want to use the moving average I want to use the standard deviation so now when I run this thing save and run this thing so you can see you know now it is calculating the trend based on the standard deviation which you can see right over here so which is again pretty good alright now next I'm going to add one more trend line over here so I'm gonna say add calculated series because like I said we are going to add, uh, make a multiple trend lines but this time marker is going to be off type again circle I'm sorry circle okay uh, marker point is 4 and the marker color would be let's say a blue one okay and the border is going to be 4 then fill is going to be this time it is red I'm gonna choose a dark green and I hit OK one second I'm sorry I made a mistake one second calculated series I need to go to border I need to set it a bit high alright and 4 okay and now let's preview this so you get so the green one is the trend line the average one at the bottom you can see you know the standard deviations so likewise you can add a multiple trend lines into the system now next video I'm going to show you uh, you know how can you configure the different things over the trend lines to hope to see you there so thank you for watching this good night and take care